really sucks a lot. So there's a board that runs between the ceiling and the roof right here. And there's insulation in there and that insulation's wet. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take another piece of dryer hose, attach it to this one. I'm gonna run it into the ceiling where the speaker hole is and I'm gonna use the RV's furnace to dry out the ceiling area. Do you think it'll work? Only one way to find out. Oh man, the stuff that I come up with. So, what my plan is, is I'm going to remove this um, vent here. And I'm going to connect another dryer hose. This is a 4 inch dryer hose, basically. And I hate working with dryer hose. And I've made I've made a little coupler here. And I'm just gonna put in here. And then we'll gently cinch this down. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're going to connect both of those like we have done. What I'm trying to do here is run the dryer hose up into the ceiling. What we're doing is, is we're going to turn the thermostat up a little bit, get that furnace to come on and we're capturing the air from the heater, running it up this dryer vent hose and into the ceiling. And I'm hoping that by filling this cavity up here with heat, that uh, it will dry out that ceiling. go to Harbor Freight some tools are good to buy some tools are not this heat gun that's a good tool item number 96289 the uh, drill master this is a it's got a low and a high this thing's awesome it was like 20 bucks I've used the crap out of this thing got this board here underneath me stretched across a couple of the uh, roof joists that way I don't punch through with my knee all right so we're just gonna clean the surface area here just a little glass cleaner is all and some elbow grease I'm just gonna make sure that we got a nice dust free dirt free mating surface there Roof patch, elastic crack sealer and repair. White in color. So I've got this Henry's roof repair fabric. This is what we're going to be using to help this bond. the Ruru. That's our grizzly boy on patrol.
So now we've got that um, roof mesh embedded in that first layer. I'm just gently pressing it down, making sure it gets a good bond. And it wraps up on the inside corner here. And now I'm just gonna apply more roofing compound. You know, I'm really glad that I read <laughs> the instructions, you know, as funny as it sounds. I don't know if all men are this way, but I think some of us have a hard time reading the instructions. We just want to get in there, get the job done. We think we know what we're doing. And then when I read about the roof mesh tape, I've done a little bit of drywalling before and, you know, the, the drywall tape that you use for around corners and stuff like that, it really does help. And I thought, you know what, that's going to be perfect for this situation where I have this inside corner. I'm definitely going to want to have that mesh tape there to help with the adhesion and the flex of this so that it doesn't, you know, crack. You know, as this RV goes down the road over railroad tracks, around corners on a bumpy road, and this AC unit is up here kind of bouncing around it'll just cause this to crack and not flex as well and I'll be back up here again and that's not what we want we want to do a one-time job and get this done right I'll come back and I will do a second coat on this um, probably tomorrow I'll give this 24 hours to um, dry and uh, I'll come back tomorrow and I'll do a second coat and I'll give that 48 hours. Well, that's it guys. That does it for our RV roof repair. We did some weird things, stuff to dry our hose inside the ceiling, but that's what it took to get it dried out. It worked, I'm happy with it. We gotta replace the wallpaper a little bit, but that's fine. We climbed up on the uh, roof of the RV. We cleaned out the uh, area that needed repair. We put some roof patch down. So I'm pretty happy with the repair results. Um, I'll be excited to test it out um, next year. I'm not going to push my luck and test it this year with the bad weather coming. I'm going to finish putting the tarp on the trailer and uh, seal it up for the year. But I think we'll be good for next spring. Appreciate you watching. Give us a like, subscribe below, trash it if you decide. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.